Hey everybody, in this video we're going to configure data stores using our uh, local um, locally attached disks. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, we're gonna log into the host uh, and go to storage. And then we can uh, create a new data store, create a new VMFS data store, and we are going to choose the device that we're going to be creating it on. So I'm going to be the first data store that I want to create is going to be um, no, let's let's take them in order. So this Intel SSD. Uh, let's make this uh, data store Intel. Let's make this Intel SSD zero. And uh, let's make a custom and uh, let's say about hmm. Mm -hmm. How much do I want out of this thing? Let's say about 330. So, three, 350 gigabytes. And we're going to click on next. And we're going to click on finish. There. And we'll uh, do the same thing for the next one. Create a new VMFS data store. Uh, we have uh, this next Intel SSD. So we want Intel SSD 1. And we'll make this one the same. 330. 358, 400. There. And now we'll continue and uh, create a new VMFS data store. We're going to use our Samsung SSD now. And we'll make this one. Three. TB. SSD. And we want to use custom. And we want three terabytes. So that will be three zero seven two zero zero zero. That's about right. And we'll finish that. Three TB SSD, our data store, Intel, Intel, and this is going to be create new, 
are uh, eight terabytes. So it's actually more like seven terabytes. So seven TB HDB. Let's for our local data store and we'll make this one. Seven terabytes. So we'll make this custom size because why not? And uh, seven one six eight zero zero zero. And that's it. Next and finished. So we got 3 TB SSD, 7 TB HDD, and a couple of Intel SSDs, and our default NVMe uh, drive that will stay as data store one, because why not? And uh, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, VMFS. And this guy, yep. the why this one is five, VMFS version five. Hmm. It's probably VMFS version five, and this one is. VMFS version 6. Why did this happen? Actions. Hmm. Strange problem. Let me try to delete this. I sure you want to delete the data store. Yep. New data store. Create a new VMFS data store. Three TB SSD. And we want it to be three. Three terabytes, so that's I must have clicked five by accident here when I was clicking. So custom, and we will make this one three zero seven two zero zero zero. That's three terabytes, and then. VMFS version 6 custom. Yep, finish. We're good. So, to confirm, we have this 3TB SSD, VMFS version 6, the 7TB HDD, version 6. And uh, this data store by default is, of course, version 6. This Intel SSD is also version 6. And version 6. So we have our local data stores ready, and um, we can go ahead and start using them. So I hope this was helpful and informative for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.